Hey guys, real quick, I am in the process of writing a book. It's going to entail just some of the things I talk about in my videos and other things, just a practical guide for a person to, you know, just read and be like, okay, so I have relationships, I have parenting, self-love, manifestation, spiritual work, the value of life, and friendship. So what's other topics that you guys would like to know more about from the Lonnie perspective? Drop it in the comments and it may make the book. Gratitude. Much appreciated. Have a fabulous week. Y'all, I'm over here trying to spice up my marriage and send my husband naughty text messages. Give me a, a, a pizza with a side of what's good, y'all? I'm Lonnie Appleton. I'm a healthy family advocate. <laughs> I promise I am. And healthy sexual relationships between partners is healthy. And that's what keeps the family together. Screaming kids and all. Lord Jesus. All right, so anyway, I'm trying to spice up my marriage and send my husband a naughty text. And he calls me like three, four, five hours later, however many hours. And he's like, what's, what's up? And I'm like, nothing. You called me. And I was like, you gonna bring home some pizza? And he's like, I thought you wasn't eating. And I was like, don't you worry about all that. Did you get my text? He's like, nah, I've been working. And I was like... How am I supposed to spice things up over here? And you ain't picking up all the mail. Right? Yeah. So he text he checks to text checks to text while I'm recording this video and he sends a response I have not read yet. But what I'm saying is I mean nah, it's fun. it's just a funny story. Anyway, what I was talking about with this Dr. Sebi, I was supposed to detox and I don't know. And I feel it's spiritual. Like, that's a miracle. I got the only copy of the book. And like I said, don't get in my comments. I'm like, nah, I got one too. You supposed to detox too. I hope you on your day 28 too. Okay. But what I'm saying is, I just believe it was just something else that since I've been doing my altar work, like, I have been ascending rapidly. It's crazy. And, oh yeah, last stage of manifestation is so you're you go to the level of the synchronicities then there's you know you're able to speak things into existence like the cheesecake story and then next level is which is the level i'm working to get to i'm on my way i am there i'm already there yes we are thank you thank you i'm there anyway where you call stuff into you you know what i'm saying where you you start manifesting the houses. You start manifesting, oh, you weren't being attacked. That was, you were just Hello, playing. Was it was just a prank outside my window. Oh, huh? What are you doing? Mommy. Anyway, what I'm saying is, boy, or whatever. So I found, I've been doing some work. So I, I, it's in my journals. When I start publishing my journals, which is something I'm going to do, my journals are dope. When I start publishing my journals, because that's easier than writing a book, because I'm literally writing a book as I journal, um, y'all gonna get so much game out of there. But what I'm saying is, I started doing the work and I attached to Joe Dispenza because I was like, I was chasing this, I was chasing this, I was chasing this. And this time I was like, Lonnie, just sit your ass down and just try one method to connect to source. And I attached to Joe Dispenza's teachings and the Four Agreements. I've read the Four Agreements before, but it was in one ear out the other. You know, it applies while you're in it, and then it, you, you suspend it. <laughs> it's too perfect, Mars. But I actually applied the Four Agreements, and I started living it. And then after that, what did she do? What did she do, young third person looking ass? Then I fell off off the Joe Dispenza, but I did do my vision board. I did my vision board. Oh, bro, 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 back up. I, I set up out of my sleep one day in June. I'm going to settle on June for now until I go get my journal. I set up out of my sleep, and I said I'm about to change my life. Like, it was weird. But now that I'm here, I, I see what the was going on. And, hey, come on with the weird stuff. Anyway, I set up out of my sleep, and I said I'm going to change my life. And then, all right, just back fast forward, you know, I'm, I'm 
following Joe Dispenza, doing, living the four agreements, um, trying to make changes with my family, but failing, saying, you know, I'm going to spend a, a Sunday since I got four kids. I got, I'm going to spend a Sunday with each kid, but I did that for a month and it was over and I never did it again. But I kept making attempts to be a better mother, but I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And that's why I say fake it till you make it because until spirit meets physical, like it's a partnership. If you got one without the other, you ain't going to get it. Because your soul or spirit side is sitting there like, get a fucking clue already. And your physical side's like, you know, something ain't right. But I don't know. But when they clash, that's when the awakening happens. So if you're watching one of my videos, hello awakening. Anyway, so you know. I knew something wasn't right and I kept trying to be a better wife. I kept trying to be a better, you know, and I was just like, it started, started unlocking and I started just speaking nicer to my husband. I still wasn't completely cured. I still ain't, but I started speaking nice and edifying him. And I was like, where did this coming from? This